Hello friends, this video on redox reaction part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take some examples. Let's practice how to find oxidation number. Let's take the first example NaH2PO4. The rule we have is free image of human face, right? Free we can't apply because this is not a free element. Iron we can't apply because it's not an ion. Oxygen we can apply, so it's oxygen is minus 2 here, right? Hydrogen we can apply, that is plus 1 here. Fluorine, there is no fluorine here. So I have sodium and phosphorus. Still I have two variables. So what I'll do is I'll apply the first uh, rule, that is group 1 will have plus 1 oxidation state, so sodium become plus 1. And phosphorus, I'll assume is x. Total has to be 0, so sodium is 1 plus hydrogen is 2 hydrogens plus phosphorus 1 x plus 4 oxygen minus 2 each total has to be 0 you solve this you get x is equal to plus 5 so plus 5 is the oxidation state of phosphorus correct let's take the same thing next example NaHSO4 here also we will do the same thing we will apply the same formula free we can't apply it's not a free element iron we can't apply it's not an iron oxygen yes will have oxidation state of minus 2 here so let me write here at NaHSO4 so that I'll get more space this is minus 2 here correct hydrogen plus 1 again I have sodium and sulfur so I'll apply this uh, I have two unknowns I apply the rule of uh, group 1 will have plus 1 this is going to be plus 1 this is x I can apply the sum rule now to get the value of x so sodium is plus 1 plus hydrogen is plus 1 plus sulfur is x plus 4 into oxygen that is equal to 0 you solve this you get x is equal to plus 6 so in this case the sulfur is plus 6 is what yeah. correct then we have h2p2o7 let's apply the same rules first rule f free element not we can't apply it's not a free element iron we can't apply it's not an iron Oxygen we can apply, so oxygen is minus 2 here. Then we hydrogen we can apply, plus 1. So we have only one variable now, x, so we can just directly apply the sum rule. So this becomes 1 into 4 for, for hydrogen, plus 2 into x for 2 phosphorus, plus 7 into minus 2 plot for 7 oxygen, total has to be 0. You solve this, you get x has to be minus 14, 4 by 10 by 2, that is plus 5. So, the phosphorus oxidation state in this compound is plus 5. Let's do for LiCl. LiCl. Correct. Free element, we can't apply, it's not free. Iron, we can't apply, it's not iron. Oxygen, there is no oxygen. Hydrogen, there is no hydrogen. Fluorine, there is no fluorine. So, we can't apply any of this rule. Right? But we have two variables. Let's apply the group 1 rule. Group 1 will have plus 1. Lithium is group 1. This is plus 1. This is x. So 1 plus x total has to be 0. So the, the sum rule, so x becomes minus 1. So chlorine is minus 1 here. Correct. Let's apply, let's solve this ALCL3. So ALCL3, let's apply this rule. Free, it's not a free element. I, iodine, uh, ion, it's not an ion, you can't apply. Oxygen, there is no oxygen. Hydrogen, there is no hydrogen. Fluorine, there is no fluorine. So we can apply any of this rule. Let's apply the group 1. There is no group 1 here. Group 2, there is no group 2. Group 13, yes, there is group 13. This is plus 3. And let this is be x. So the total has to be 0 now. Sum rule. So we'll have plus 3 plus 3 chlorine into x has to be 0. You solve this, you get x equal to minus 1. So for chlorine, it will be minus 1. That's how you solve. Correct. Let's do some more practice here. K2 MnO4. The same rules we have. Free image of human face in the sum rule. Free we can't apply as on a free element. Ion we can't apply. Oxygen, yes, we can. Minus 2. Hydrogen, there is no hydrogen. Fluorine, there is no fluorine. So we have two variables now, right? So we have to find the value. So let's apply the group one. Group 1, potassium is group 1, this is plus 1. So I have only one variable, let this be x. Then we can find the value of x by total sum rule. 
So it becomes 2 into potassium plus 1. Magnus is x plus 4 into oxygen minus 2. X is equal to 0. You saw this, you get x is equal to plus 6. So this guy is plus 6. Correct. Let's take CaO2. Free, we can't apply, it's not a free element. Ion, we can't apply, it's not an ion. Oxygen, yes, we can. This is minus 2. So only one element left, just put it x and apply the sum rule. This becomes 2 into minus 2 plus for calcium it is x has to be equal to 0 so x comes out to be what plus 4 is it correct no no it is not correct why because for oxygen we blindly can't apply minus 2 right we just can't apply minus 2 because there's the exception that it oxygen is minus 1 in case of h2o2 kind of thing Right? So it will be minus 1. So oxygen is minus 1 here. Correct? So we have to rewrite this here. So calcium is x, oxygen is minus 1. So 2 into minus 1 is equal to 0. When we solve this, you get x equal to plus 2. So calcium is plus 2 here. Hope you understand this. In this case, there is an exception. For oxygen, we had exceptions, two exceptions. And this is the exception case. Now we have S2. S2O7. Right? Let's apply the rule. Free rule we can't apply as not a free element. Ion we can't apply as not an ion. Oxygen we can apply minus 2. Hydrogen we can apply plus 1. Sulfur is the only one remaining is being equal to x. And we can apply the sum rule now. Right? So this becomes 2 into hydrogen plus 1 plus x is 2x plus 7 into minus 2 has to be equal to 0. To solve this, you get x to be. 17, uh, 14, 12, 12 by 2, 6, plus 6. So this is plus 6. Okay. Let's take HOF. Please pay attention here. HOF, fluorine, uh, free element we can't apply, iron we can't apply, oxygen we can apply. So the first element we can guess is oxygen, that is minus 2. Right? The second element we can guess is hydrogen. That is plus one. The remaining element we have only one element remaining, so we'll make it x because we have to apply the sum rule at the last, right? So we can't see we can apply here the fluorine rule also, right? Because the next rule is fluorine rule, which says f has to be minus one. But since protein is the last element now, all others are resolved, I should not apply the fluorine rule. I should apply the sum rule. Please note here. See, I started with oxygen rule, then hydrogen rule. Then the next rule was fluorine rule, but, but I didn't apply the fluorine rule and I didn't put it minus 1 because I have the sum rule which have to be applied, the universe with has to be applied. So I just assume F2, uh, the oxidation number of F to be X. So let's solve this. Hydrogen is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2, plus fluorine is X, total has to be 0. You solve this, you get X to be plus 1. So here if you see the oxidation state of fluorine is plus 1, not minus 1. Correct? So please note this. You just can't apply. The fluorine rule here because the rule is you just keep applying and you have to keep one variable and then you have to apply the last rule the sum rule correct let's take agf2 agf2 if you see uh free element we can't apply iron we can't apply so on iron oxygen we can't apply there's no oxygen hydrogen we can't apply fluorine is the next which is there to apply so fluorine the next rule says it has to be minus one so this will become x, then we will apply the sum rule, so it will become x plus 2 into minus 1 is equal to 0. We saw we get x is equal to plus 2. So for Ag, silver, the oxidation state is plus 2. So if you note here, so in this case, the fluorine oxidation state is minus 1, in this case plus 1. Let's take this one, the big guy, KALSO4 2 dot 12 H2. So this will always be zero, right? Because there's two molecules, we can ignore this part also. Or if you want, we can keep this also. It doesn't make much difference. Let's start with this. Free element, it's not a free, we can't apply. Iron, we can't apply. Oxygen, we can apply. This is minus two, this is minus two. Hydrogen, yes, we can apply. This is plus one. Fluorine, there is no fluorine. But we have how many uh, variables now? K, A, L, S. 
it's apply the group one rule so group one will become plus one charge group two there is no group two group three aluminium that is plus three here correct then I have only one variable left so sulfur I'll make it as x now the sum has to be zero so let's do this potassium 1k aluminium 3 plus twice of sulfur is what x plus 4 into oxygen that is 4 into minus 2 whole twice because it's twice plus 12 into hydrogen is plus 1 and into 2 because there are two hydrogen molecules minus 2 so 2 into plus 2 minus 2 is 0 so this is 0 anyway so you solve this guy you get x to be is 4 and this becomes minus 2 x minus 8 becomes minus 2 so x becomes 8 minus 2 is 6 yeah x becomes 6 this is my value of sum. hope you got how I got this so here I applied all the rules I had three variables so I applied this group 1 then group 2 there was no group 2 uh, still I had two variables so I applied group 13 then I could see only I have one variable and I applied the sum rule correct right. so you keep applying the rules till you find one variable so that you can find the value of that variable by using sum that is a general approach thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again